Do you know what the difference is between an amateur and a professional real estate wholesaler? It is tracking your results. I'm gonna show you the exact metrics, the exact numbers, the exact results that you need to track to take your business to the next level. Check this out. Hey guys, it is Brent Daniels, Mr. TTP, and I am here to talk about tracking your numbers. Now I've done videos on this, I've done little segments here and there, but this is specifically for you. I am telling you, when you start tracking your results, you can start understanding every strength and weakness that you have in your business. Now, if you get a lot of value out of this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. Let's go. The first thing you need to track is how many properties are in your community, in your marketplace, in your market, okay? Because this is gonna tell you a lot. Now, if you're in a really, really, really tiny market, you might need to expand how far you're willing to go to do business, okay? You might have to do business virtually if your market is too small. So this is very, very, very important. But I want the numbers to speak for themselves. I want you to stay in your backyard first and then you can start expanding if you're not getting the amount of results that you are looking for. So it's really, really, really important. For example, there's, uh, for example, there's over a million properties in Maricopa County where, where Phoenix is located, okay? So there's a ton of opportunities, but with that, there's gonna be a lot of other competition, okay? So there's a give and a take here. Honestly, I see the best results the quickest in what I would call B size markets at around a million people in population in a market, okay? So if you're in a big, 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 big city, you're in San Diego, LA, Houston, Dallas, uh, Miami, you're in New York, wherever. If you're in these big markets, segment it out to where you're at about a million people, okay? That's great. Now, if you're not in that big of a market, that's fine if you're just starting out. Don't, don't start going into other markets just because you're hallucinating and thinking there's no deals there. There are deals there. Start in your backyard because you're going to understand the values of the properties that you're going after. Okay. It's a little bit trickier when you start going into other markets that you're not as familiar with, but it's easy to overcome. You can learn it. You can watch a ton of videos in this, on this channel and get in there. Also, you can get a whole list. You can get all of the greatest hits of this channel at talktopeople.com. Check it out. Okay. Now from there, every market, six to 10% of the market is in distress. That is a national statistic. Now, is it six or is it 10? It depends on what market you're in, what the economy like, economy is like in that market, what the, what, what the, um, uh, the job market's like in that market. So it just depends. So you're going to have to play around with it, but you got to assume six to 10%. Those are the properties we go after. This is our list. Remember the key to this business is consistent quality conversations with distressed property owners, distressed. It has to be distressed. Don't just go after somebody that can slap it on the market and sell it traditionally. You're looking for people that will trade speed and convenience for equity. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Speed and convenience for equity. These are people that need to sell right now. They are in distress six to 10%. Can you believe it? That's an incredible amount of properties that you can go out and get if you're in uh, if, if you have enough of a market size, right? So uh, next, the distressed properties now, how do you get in touch with them? Well, you have three options. You can market to them, right? With direct mail, banded signs, web, um, yeah, those, those are the top three. You can get referrals from other people, maybe real estate agents or other investors, or you can go out there like a badass and be proactive and call these people, Put, have these conversations on your schedule, be proactive and prospect for those business. So that's my suggestion for you is to skip trace those addresses, okay? Obviously batch skiptracing.com has the absolute best data. If you use TTP, you get two cents off each, each address. Is it a lot? No, but it's something, okay? So batch ship trade, get their phone numbers, okay? Now only about 75 to 80% are gonna come back with phone numbers. So now your list gets a little bit smaller. Imagine this as a funnel, every property, distressed, properties that come back with phone numbers. And the next step is to call them, call them up, call them up 
and, and have a conversation with those property owners. Now, a statistic for this is about 10% contact rate. You're going to talk to about 10% of these homeowners. Now, you can obviously, if it depends on the market size, depends on your manpower uh, and how many people are on your team, you can obviously go to the doors, but we're just talking about leveraging your time and making these calls. So 10%, that means that 90% aren't gonna be, talk, uh, aren't gonna be called. That's a huge number, but from those 10% that answer and have a conversation with you, how many leads do you get? That's the next metric. How many people do you have to talk to to get a lead? Okay. And then how many leads do you have to talk to, to get an appointment? Now, obviously appointments are a little bit different. If you're doing it virtually, a phone appointment could be considered an appointment, but an appointment shows a lot. Once you have somebody that is interested in selling and you go on the appointment and you have to go on a lot of appointments to get a contract signed, that means you're doing something wrong with your offer presentation. We can pull little pieces of little, little, little tips or little um, uh, results that you're getting to be able to understand where your strengths and weaknesses are. Now, if you're getting a lot of leads from your calls, that means that you're awesome on the phone. If you're not, improve it. Right, there's certain techniques that you can use to improve it. If you're getting a lot of leads and, and you're going on these appointments and you're not getting the contract signed, that means that you're having a problem when you're face to face, knee to knee, belly to belly. So we just start dissecting these things little by little to where we get to the point where this is like a machine. We are pros now, we are professionals, we are running out there, we are making a huge impact in our community because we have built up our skills, our tool belt. So here you go, you've got your appointment, you've got contracts do they sign the contract and then from that how many contracts close this is huge how many of your contracts actually close that you can assign to somebody else that you are doing a great job comping the property you understand the potential there this is key right we're, 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 we're measuring every single one of these metrics to make sure where are the strengths and weaknesses where are the cracks in your business so that we can fill them all out smooth them all out and you are running efficiently so then how many of those do you actually close because what happens when you close you get paid, baby. You get paid. You get a check. You get paid. That's when all the efforts come through. Look at that process that you took to get a contract. I mean, to, to make contact to an appointment, to a contract, to selling that contract and getting paid. Listen, it's a simple process, but you need to track it. A lot of people are out there just winging it, just going. If I get a deal, I get a deal, but you're not understanding where you're weak. If you understand where you're weak, you can improve upon that, okay? Don't just shove it aside and say, well, you know, I'm just not really great face-to-face -face, or well, I'm not really good at lead follow-up or well, I'm not really great making initial calls. No, understand why and improve it if you wanna be a professional and a master at this game, okay? That is huge. Now, a couple other things that I wanna point out. One, how much time does it take for you to make a contact to actually getting paid? This is really, really, really important. Now, the average is about 90 days, okay? My business is 82 days is the average deal, okay? Now, some people in really hot markets or they just are calling an incredibly fast list, like a pre-foreclosure list or a probate list, that could be, it could be 20 days, it could be 30 days. The potential is there, but I would say on average, you gotta assume you're not getting paid on a deal for until three months. So you gotta start building it up, building it up, building up, and you gotta build your bulletproof mindset to stay with it for 90 days before you can expect results. If they pop early, awesome. That's, that's, just, uh, that's just bonus, okay? But the typical thing is it happens in about 90 days. The second is how much cost did it take to get a deal, okay? How much did it cost? If you made $10,000 on a deal, you don't make 10,000 because you already spent $300, so you made $9,700, okay? What is the cost per deal? Keep it low. Keep this money for your family. Keep this money for building your business. Keep this money to save up so you can get out of your job. Keep this money so that if you're in the military, you're building your bank account to the day that that job is over and your contract's over and you are off and running, okay? So it is really important to understand the cost of it. It's really important to understand how long it takes you so that you can set expectations on how long it's gonna take you to move through the sales cycle to have the conversation and get paid. Guys, I am telling you, this is what the professionals do. The professionals are 
absolutely obsessed with their metrics. Do it on, if it's just you, if you're a solopreneur, if you're just out there doing it yourself, track your numbers. Start building the discipline now. It's gonna pay off when you have two, three, four, 15, 20 people working for you, because I know you're gonna do it. You're watching this channel, that's what we do. This channel is for the winners. This channel is for the people that are gonna go out there and make a difference in their community. So go out there, guys. Make sure that you track your numbers. Don't just be an amateur. Be a pro. Watch your business explode. I love you all. You know you know how to get at me. If you want to join the most proactive group in real estate investing, it is the TTP program, wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP. Wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP. Scroll down. Check out what the program's about. Check out the dozens and dozens and dozens of testimonials nobody has more i look forward to working with you personally if you join the ttp family till next time guys love you see ya